was very impressed with my previous guest. The story I learned inspired me. I continued doing my research. I found out that successful people in the entertainment industry created and developed their business. They used their media presence to develop their brand and its value. Hello, Dr. Marvin. Thank you for coming to the show. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Dr. Marvin, you are a successful doctor, athlete, and actor. Thank you. Could you please share your story? How did everything start? Yes, I'll be more than happy to. When I came to this country um, as seeking education uh, in the medical field, I went to school for about 10 years till I uh, got my uh, professional degree as a doctor of chiropractic and I started practicing. And uh, at the same time, I was involved in, in bodybuilding and fitness um, industry as well. So I incorporated both uh, careers together. Uh, so I took on the sports medicine aspect of, uh, of that field. So I became um, a doctor of chiropractic and sports medicine. So I treat athletes from all over the world of uh, various uh, sports. And uh, I became big in the fitness industry since I have the passion for uh, the uh, uh, Eastern medicine, chiropractic, acupuncture and whatnot. And I incorporated nutrition and fitness. Thank you for your response, Dr. Marlon. It's uh, absolutely my pleasure. What inspired you to take this pass? When I started the, my, uh, my education uh, geared into uh, the medical field, I was involved in martial arts as well. Martial arts, when I was involved in martial arts, I, I had a very small frame. Uh, I wasn't big uh, as I am now. So I would get hurt. So my sensei at that time said, why don't you venture out, uh, start lifting weights and get your body stronger and come back to martial arts. <laughs> and after that, I, I stayed with bodybuilding and I enjoyed bodybuilding and uh, I left martial arts. However, it's still in my heart and it's part of me uh, as a martial artist. When I was injured actually in martial arts, I was able to seek chiropractic care for the first time and I was really impressed by the uh, the holistic approach of chiropractic got me back into health and then to uh, I was able to get into fitness again and uh, never looked back and now and now I do it all. Dr. Marwan, how could you combine bodybuilding and chiropractic studies? Chiropractic uh, is the uh, art of healing of, of the human body, the muscles, the musculoskeletal system. When I incorporate bodybuilding and fitness, they really uh, jive together really well. Since I know the body well, I know the, the musculature, I became a coach for, to, to help people uh, strengthen their bodies and their mind uh, through chiropractic and bodybuilding and fitness. Did bodybuilding help you to understand chiropractic art better? Uh, matter of fact, it did. Actually, I was able to uh, study the biomechanics of uh, the human body, how the, the body functions chiropractic also uh, helped me in fitness and bodybuilding so they both uh, really um, went together so I, um, I never separate uh, the both. Dr. Marwan, how did you start and later develop your business? I learned the business part by working with other chiropractors and uh, I develop the business sense, of course, and of course the passion for, for chiropractic was still there. And I opened my own practice, I expanded because I was doing really well, and I started with one office, now I have five offices, and I feel blessed. <clears throat> what were your biggest challenges? The biggest challenge, uh, especially in the beginning, was uh, tried to be uh, the best chiropractor and the best businessman at the same time. You know, I felt I just want to run before I was able to walk. So I had to slow down uh, and uh, understand that I have to take uh, one step at a time in order f uh, for me to achieve success. I felt there's a little bit of pressure on me. Uh, but however, I was able to uh, take on more studies, more extracurricular uh, programs uh, in fitness, nutrition, 
and uh, the understanding of bodybuilding as well. So that was my challenge. How did you overcome them? First, you have to have the passion for, for what you do. Doesn't matter if you're a doctor or a lawyer or, any, or a business person, uh, you have to have the passion that you like what you do. If you do that, then you can build on from, from that. Many young people now, they, 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 they see successful people in front of them and say, I want to be you in a, in a short time, and it really doesn't work. You have to take small steps in order to achieve really big success. My, uh, my advice is to always learn. Never give up on education and learning to be a better person, of course, and a better uh, professional uh, and a, a better businessman, of course, in order to achieve better success. What would you advise younger generations to learn about business? You have to always look uh, forward to um, become more successful and, and busier than what you are. So therefore, um, by doing that, you become actually a role model for other uh, uh, professionals who see who they see you doing well, achieving your goals in, in, in a, a timely manner. So they understand that you're doing something right. I always uh, go out and, and market myself. I sell my services, my professional services, and I introduce the world to what I do. And uh, by doing that, I tell them that, uh, you know, I am the best. Because why I have the passion for what I do, and I think I'm the best because I keep learning, and I'm a healer. So I like to heal people, and uh, before I think about financial aspect of success, I always think about how I can become a better doctor. What is your recipe of resolving the most difficult life and business challenges? Like I said, you never give up. You always think, hey, look, you know, there's, the road is rough, but it's going to be smooth down the line. You never detour from what you do best is being a doctor, being a successful businessman. You stay focused. No matter what, you always stay focused. You never listen to uh, negative people who will tell you, ah, oh, that's too much, don't do this, don't do that. You know, why go to school for that long? So always believe in yourself. Believe, you know what, you want to do something, you want to achieve that goal, you work toward it and you'll get there. Believe me, I mean, that's, I've been there, done that, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of what I've done. And I encourage people, and all, all, like I said, I do coach people, young people who want to achieve success. I'm always there open for them for help of any, any type. Thank you so much for sharing your story and wisdom, Dr. Marvin. Very welcome. It was a pleasure being uh, uh, on the show and uh, thank you for having me. I learned a lot and I'm sure our viewers also did.